Wii Sports, the game that is recognised by many people and played by many. From your grandma playing bowling and sometimes even beating you, to you rage quitting at putting in golf. It's no doubt that Wii Sports could be regarded as one of the most popular Nintendo multiplayer games of all time. 82.9 million units of Wii Sports have been sold since the game was released 19th of November 2006, the same day of the Wii's launch. Buying the game at launch would cost you around $60, but now you can pick up the game in almost any thrift shop for the price of just $5. Getting Wii Sports in 2022 is still a good idea if you have not got it yet, as well as getting the game out once in a while to play with your friends if you have it. Today, I'm going to go over some key points on why Wii Sports in 2022 is still entertaining. Wii Sports has a variety of games, from tennis to boxing. There's a thing about how all of these sports work well, and one of them is their connectiveness. Tennis can be played up to four people, involving everyone. Same goes for bowling and golf. Now, you're probably wondering about boxing and baseball. Well, these are limited to two players, but this does not matter, as a group of four will still be entertained as they watch two people box. For baseball, it is slightly different as the games can be long and it is hard to involve four players. Back to boxing however, I personally can say watching your friends box each other is a fun experience. Not that long ago, I played boxing with four of my friends and there were no dramas at all. Two people would go up and box, the people sitting down would watch the two players boxing and make fun comments. Once the game was over, the two players would rotate with the people sitting down giving them the chance to box, as well as the players being able to watch. Almost all of the Wii Sport games have a sense of how anyone can play and how lots of people can be included. Another feature that backs this point up, for instance, in a game like golf and bowling, if you don't have enough Wii remotes, you can just share one around, further demonstrating my point of being able to include anyone. On the topic of including people, the games are pretty easy to understand which allows the elderly to have some fun gaming. Definitely fun to see when your grandma performs striking bowling and gains a sense of competitiveness against you when playing. <laughs> Nintendo Switch Sports released a couple months ago, and although it's on the Switch, as well as being a new game, I have not heard anything about it since a couple days after it was released. I see something about Wii Sports almost every day, and the game is so old compared to Nintendo Switch Sports, whereas Wii Sports released right when the Wii released. Second, which is the big one for me, Nintendo got rid of the Miis. I love the use of Miis in Wii Sports. They are so funny and iconic, but Nintendo got rid of them. This to me ended up resulting in me not buying the game, but instead playing Wii Sports to realise how fun it was. The well, last thing that I would like to touch on would have to be training mode. When I first played this part of the game, I was so happy as it added features to the games I already fell in love with. Outside of gaming, I love to play tennis, so when I first discovered the tennis training modes, I was very excited. Still to this day, when I get out Wii Sports, I always try to break my target practice record. It's very sad how Nintendo Switch Sports removed this feature, as it takes out a really fun aspect of the game. Back to Wii Sports though, the game has four tiers of medals, bronze, silver, gold and platinum. Platinum being the highest medal for advanced players. These medals act as an incentive to do well and beat scores. I still remember the day when I got my first platinum medal in one of the training tennis games and it was so rewarding. The addition of the training mode really adds an extra part to the main games which makes Wii Sports better compared to Nintendo Switch Sports. As you can see, Wii Sports is still a very entertaining game in 2022. Its games and training minigames really set it apart from the new Nintendo Switch Sports, and overall achievements that can be made in the game are just so fun. The game has so much to offer, especially with the various mods that are available for the game, and that is why I believe it's entertaining and better than Nintendo Switch Sports. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Sorry I've been gone for so long, but I've been extremely busy. See you next time. Monkey Bar Gaming, out.